Welcome back. In the previous video we have added the missing bracket here, protected the wiring harness from vibration. And in this video Evgeny will continue protecting the wiring harness over here. And at the same time we'll clean the throttle body and the EGR valve. First we need to remove the airbox. And Evgeny is performing this on his Volvo XC70 D4. Let's get started. For safety, it's a good idea to disconnect one of the battery terminals. In this case, Evgeny is disconnecting the positive one. Loosen the hose clamp that connects to the filter airbox. Using a screwdriver, pull up on the tab and then pull on the connector from the MAF sensor, mass airflow sensor. And then just pull away the hose from the filter airbox. Use a screwdriver to disconnect the wire from the filter airbox. Pull out this rubber hose, pull away again the hose and then pull straight up on the filter airbox, just firmly upwards and it's held in the car in two spots, one over here and one over here. On the car the corresponding spots are this plastic clip at the bottom and this metal hook over here. This is the wiring that we need to get to and the throttle body location is over here we're going to remove it and clean it first we need to disconnect this uh, loosen the clamp and disconnect the hose from the throttle body seven millimeter socket loosen the clamp and disconnect the hose from the throttle body the same clamp is at the bottom to remove completely the hose of the car in this video we're going to clean the throttle body and the egr valve that's behind it same hose clamp is at the bottom of the hose, we've already loosened it and now we're ready to pull out the hose of the car. Next we need to detach this uh, rubber hose. There is a green clamp that needs to be um, loosened. Just use uh, uh, nose pliers to squeeze and then uh, detach the hose and we're gonna show close up this is the clamp just use nose pliers to push on it and it will slide off the hose itself just like that next disconnect the throttle body connector there's two tabs just uh, push on both sides on the tabs and slide off the connector Next is some of the tools that we will need and we'll actually need two types of tape. On the left side the tape is actually with the material and then regular electrical tape, some zip ties, pliers, screwdriver and cutters. Uh, we'll continue getting to the wire and loom here. Uh, this plastic holder, we've just cut the zip tie, take it out. Later on we'll put everything back together. So we need to get to the wiring and expose it to the bare wires. This is what we need to tape and protect. Uh, this wiring loom, it goes from uh, this side all the way down and then it goes upwards over here. So we need to pull out this whole wiring loom upwards and protect it. What happens, it's a diesel engine, it's vibrating and the wires inside the loom gets vibration and it wears out and then you have glitches in the car. To get to it, we'll need to remove a few more connectors to get it upwards and uh, expose it and protect it with that special tape. Let's continue getting to it. Deep inside, we're gonna zoom in. There is a connector of the intercooler pressure switch. We need to disconnect that connector. It's a little bit tight spot, but still possible. Mm -hmm. 
Just push on the top and pull on the connector. Next is to remove two ground cables of the chassis of the car. There is two 10 mm bolts. Take out the bolts and loosen the two ground cables. Next disconnect the fan connector. This is it. And now we can pull upwards the wiring harness. Now before pulling upwards, careful because there is a plastic clip that secures it to the car frame. Detach it before pulling on it. You can see that plastic clip at the bottom of the wiring harness. I've already fast forwarded here the video. Uh, the wiring loom is gonna go off the wires. Next, you need to take that special fabric tape and you wanna tape the bare wires as tight as possible to make sure that they're nice and, it's nice and snug. This will protect the wires from rubbing inside the wiring loom from vibrations. This is what others, uh, other people experience with their Volvo and then they had glitches. Once completed, you take the existing wiring loom, wrap around, and now you take a regular electrical tape and also tape snugly, tightly around the wiring loom. Section at a time, make sure you take your time and you complete the whole wiring harness here. Let's speed up the video here. There is another section that uh, Yevgen is completing to protect the wires. And here is another section getting exposed. Same procedure here. And my advice at the end of the video, I'm gonna put a link to the previous video where Evgeny did some modification to his diesel Volvo. Very informative. If you own a diesel Volvo, some of these very needed modifications that can be done to your diesel Volvo. And we're completing here the procedure. Uh, the wiring loom is, goes back onto the protected wires. And now make sure that you tape snugly the wiring loom with regular electrical tape. Job done over here. We repositioned the wiring harness to its uh, original position, reconnected this rubber hose and also attached it in those two spots which is marked green and red with zip ties to the wiring harness. Uh, that rubber hose is reconnected with that green clip, reconnected the intercooler uh, connector sensor and reconnected the fan uh, connector. Next, we're gonna remove the throttle body, clean it and clean the EGR valve. Let's do it. To remove the throttle body, we need to unscrew four bolts, which are 8 mm socket. So there is a throttle body in our hands and notice that the gasket is held in place by this protruding uh, tab which makes it easier to reinstall the throttle body onto the car and you actually can reuse it for one more time you don't have to put a new one the condition is pretty good pretty clean but uh, we're still gonna clean it anyway Once the throttle body removed, this is your EGR valve and you can actually clean it without removing it from the car. The condition is pretty good, but still Evgeny is gonna clean it with a uh, special cleaning solution. You can use throttle body cleaning and uh, just make sure that you don't spray anything inside. Use some rugs. So this is a uh, engine cleaner and some parts cleaner. You can use throttle body cleaner, whatever you have. And again, just don't spray anything inside. Spray it on a rug and just wipe it until you get a good clean result. That's what we're gonna do next. Mm. 
after a while this is the amount of rugs that uh, we've used and let's take a look at the result and I think it's a pretty clean e-jar valve now so you can do it without removing it from the car we did it uh, we'll continue now with the throttle body pretty much same idea but this one you can spray and some more rugs to get a clean result All done, clean throttle body. Reinstalling the throttle body, we're gonna reuse the gasket once and I will put the link, the part number for this gasket in the description below. Tighten carefully the four bolts and we're gonna reinstall everything back in reverse order as we did this assemble. Now the hose has this notch over here. This will be the upper side so you reinstall it this way. Make sure to tighten both hose clamps, upper and lower. So a quick check, the hose is in place, both clamps have been tightened, uh, the throttle body connector is uh, connected and both ground cables are reattached with the bolts. Now we just need to reinstall the air filter box, reconnect the hose to it and connect the MAF sensor connector. Reinstalling that hose into the position and reattaching the MAF sensor wire to the filter box and reconnecting the connector. We're pretty much left with uh, reconnecting the battery, starting it up, checking for operation to make sure everything is good. And uh, I want to uh, thank Evgeny for uh, sharing this with us. I hope that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and I uh, invite you to watch the previous video that Evgeny did to his uh, diesel Volvo. Click on the screen now. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.